Hey, what's up everyone? It's Duskmos, and today I'm here to show you how to use the aux send on the TX6 from Teenage Engineering. So if you're not familiar, an aux send is something that allows you to send a signal out of your mixer, out somewhere else, and then return it. So in this case, I'm sending the signal from the Syntact into the TX6, and then from the TX6, I'm sending it back out into the Respira from AC Noises, and then back into the TX6. This allows me to control the levels of both the incoming signal and the affected signal separately. It also would allow me to send multiple um, inputs to the outboard effect and then return it as well. So if I had, say, three different synths hooked up on you know, inputs one, two, three, I could send a little bit of all of them into this external device and then return it. So how do we do that? Well, first you need some cabling. So in this case, um, I have these little mini jack to quarter inch cables that are really handy for the TX6, um, both in mono. And um, I'm coming out of this first jack from the left, um, that's the aux send, um, out into the Respira in the input, coming out of the output of the Respira and then into any free channel that you pick. So in this case, I'm in channel six. Obviously you need a source hooked up, so I'm coming out of the uh, syntax going into channel two of the TX6. Once you have the cabling out of the way, make sure you're sending enough signal out of the TX6 to your external device. And so to make sure that everything is set up the way you want, you actually just hit the button on the bottom or the front, whatever you want to call this down here, but the aux button on the bottom. And then it brings up this menu where you can see the volume that you're sending. Um, and then you can also choose um, what modes so you can do pre or post and that's pre or post fader um, basically what that means is you can send the signal either at full output volume that you've selected or at whatever volume that you slide to so if you only have a little bit of volume then this will only get a little bit of volume if you have it turned up all the way it'll get the full volume so that's just up to you how you want to use it but um, I have it set to I believe I have it set to um, pre so let's check pre, yeah. So that means it'll get full volume to the effect no matter what this channel is doing. I could mute it and you'll still hear the return of the effect. Now that we know that the volume going out of the aux send is all good to go, um, now we need to make sure that everything is set up the way we like for actually implementing this feature. And so to do that, you actually, at least for me, I have my top row set as my aux send um, faders, or not faders, pots. So you press select to go into your menu find the pots option, select that, and then you can see right now it's actually set to FX1. So you actually click in to select that and then pan, like twist through and you can see aux. So now I've selected aux, um, all good there, just back out. And so now this top row is sending the aux send level. So now if I play my pattern, just a simple synth line, but as you can hear, we're just hearing it clean, no effect, nothing special. Um, but that's because I have my send level on this pot turned all the way down. Um, I do have the effect coming in on channel six, but again, and you see that volume level is up all the way, but it's not returning anything because it's not getting anything because I have the send down. So as I turn that up, Now you see I was sending, as that adjusted, I'm sending 100% or full um, level to this. But you control that send amount too if you wanted to actually send, like max out at a different level by that aux menu that I showed you earlier that you pull up. So now this effect is on this fader. So you can drop it out, control levels there. Let's have a little subtle hit. I'm bringing in full volume, but because these are now separated, I pulled out the main sound, so it's completely removed from the signal. And you can bring it back in, fade this in and out as you see fit. Now, these may seem redundant because this is a level, and then this is a level, as you see, but that's because 
me stop this. That's because you could send little bits of all of your tracks to the effect. So in this case, you'd want to only send one through five. If you're trying to send this um, back out into itself, it could cause some feedback loops, um, which maybe you could experiment with. Um, I'd be very careful doing that though, because you never know um, with feedback, it can, things can get crazy really fast. But um, that's pretty cool because this allows you to um, dial in just a little bit if you want to send multiple devices, you know, the three cents, um, for example, out to the one effect and then return them all back. So yeah, that's how the aux send works on the TX6. Um, if you have any questions, I'll link to um, the manual in the um, description of the video, but then also feel free to leave me comments. I'm happy to help out, help you troubleshoot, figure something out. Um, definitely let me know. Happy to do it. But that's going to be it for me this time. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.